Tina, how are we supposed to pay for this thing, huh? I gave all of that money back to Asa. Now, what are we going to do? How are we going to bankroll this little honeymoon of yours? I guess I have to tell you eventually. You, you know my diamond L pin? The one that my father gave me, the one that stands for Lord? Yeah. I sold it. Tina, how could you do something like that? I know how much that pin means to you, honey. What? I, I know, but our happiness means just, just a million times more to me than that. And since when is our happiness dependent upon one little vacation? Since I... Honey, it just seems like such a tiny, tiny little price to pay for a little peace of mind. Well, I think you're going to sleep a hell of a lot better knowing that that pin is safe and sound in your jewelry box. Now, I want you to buy it back. Oh, honey... I'm going to back out. Now's the time. I'll understand. No, I'm in it all the way, Charlie. Despite what the boys in Washington told you? Well, because of what the boys in Washington told me. Now, they didn't fill me in on a lot of details, but they said it was a matter of national security. And that's all I need to know. All right. If that's the case, I have only one thing further to say to you. Shoot. Please don't call me Charlie. <laughs> all right. We're working together. Charles. All right. Thank you. Here are the details you're so anxious to know about. Well, I know we're up against Colonel Carlos Dimitri. Yes, that's right. What else did they tell you about him? Well, just that since that uh, coup of his failed in Mandora, he came here looking for political asylum. Mm -hmm. Of course, I already found that out firsthand from you know who. Yeah. But they did not tell you where he went after Dorian sent him packing? No. Ever hear of a little place called Devil's Claw? Now it's a spot right out here in the middle of the Caribbean. Perfect place for an international criminal. Plenty of sand, plenty of sun, total isolation. Well, I tell you what, it's fine with me if he stays there. Less chance of him giving Dorian any rubies or overthrowing any foreign governments. But he can hold the entire free world hostage. You want to run that by me again? Just before Colonel Dimitri flew out of Mendora, he stole some top secret defense plans. It's all right there. U.S. European defense plan. That's right. You see, Mendora allows this country to maintain naval bases and radar installations there. It's a small, but it's a very vital link in our overall defense system. This Colonel Dimitri is one hell of a thief. Uh -huh. I mean, not only does he run off with the entire crown jewels of Mendora, but he's got our U.S. European defense plan. Hypothetical question, John. If you were a thief and you had something that hot, what would you do? Fence him. Exactly. Colonel Dimitri's plan is to hold an auction in Devil's Claw and put those stolen defense plans up to the highest bidder. You mean foreign governments? Well, foreign governments, terrorist groups, every two-bit would-be dictator on the face of the map. They'll all be there, bidding for the big prize. And, that's, and that is some big prize. The fate of the entire world. That's why, John, your destination has been held top secret until this very moment. Devil's Claw. Devil's Claw. And now the proud owner of that jewel of the Caribbean, Devil's Claw. My very own island. <laughs> <laughs> Business as usual, you screaming into the phone. You ain't heard nothing yet. Where did I get my hands on that polecat grandson of mine? Well, anything he done, you probably deserve. If I'm gonna pull a fast one, I do it to a man's face. I don't stab him in the back when he ain't looking. What the hell did he do? He gave me back my money for the land, which I made sure I left for him. He... Glad I talked you into coming down to the island? Yeah, very glad. Well, that can be pretty clever sometimes. Yeah, well, you married me. In my book, that makes you one of the smartest ladies I know. Because <laughs> you're Buchanan? Hey, you didn't know about that before we were married. Neither did I, for that fact. <laughs> no, no, of course I didn't. All you knew is that I was going to love you like no man ever did. And I was going to take care of you, and I was going to make you happy, too. And you did that a hundred times over. Yeah, well, I'm just getting started, girl. Now that you mention it, your ears do look a little bit bigger to me lately. <laughs> of course. What was that for? Well, it was just a little bon voyage. I don't want you thinking about John or Dorian anymore. By the time we get to that island, I only want you thinking about me. We got a deal.
tell Colonel Dimitri of uninvited guests. A boat in the cove on the North Shore. Find out how he wants me to deal with them. Yes, sir. <laughs> 